This video is sponsored by VIPSCDKey.com. VIPSCDKey is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIPSCDKey offers a legit Windows 10 Pro key for only $21. This is the same case I use on my PC builds. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 25% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $15. You now have your legit Windows 10 key license all set, but in a more affordable price. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, Paymaya, or GCash. Visit VIPSCDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. So thank you VIPSCDKey.com for sponsoring this video. A budget na dual chamber. So this is the Dark Flash C285MP. So unbox natin guys. Let's see the features. And quick overview then. So this is white nga pala. Yes, it's white. So check mo natin mga mabilis ang features dito. So we have uh, maximum 360mm uh, radiator. Up to 9 fans. Uh, we'll see kung anong uh, sukat niyan. 160mm uh, for the height ng cooler. USB 3.0 dust filters. Uh, yung length ng GPU is up to 410mm. Nga pala, nang sila lang pinadala sa akin. Guys, magbibuild mag kasi ako ng budget. So, nagpadala din sila ng twister. So, this is the DX240. Uh, parang infinity like the NZXT. Uh, it's a budget cooler. A 240mm na AIO. So, meron silang cup. Uy, nagpadala silang cup. Thank you for the previous. Even the fans. So, this is the infinity 24. Ganun guys, it's going to be a white na RGB uh, team na PC build na gagawin ko. And stay tuned for that. Uh, pinagpipili ako pa ako mag Intel or AMD comment lang kayo um, kung anong gusto nyong platform majority kasi yun yung mga hinahanap or yung binibuild ko let's check yung quality ng uh, metal ginamit dito kung napapansin nyo ano ba yung dual chamber yung dual chamber hinati nila or hiniwalay nila yung power supply hard drive and the cable management dito sa so may side na to kasi hati mo yan so dito yan. Less na yung init ng power supply at saka yung mga hard drive nyo or SSD. So andito na lang sa chamber na to is the motherboard memory, cooler, CPU, yan. So dito sa area na to. And maganda rin kasi tingnan ang um, pagka, you know, panoramic. Yung view, like sa front and dito sa may uh, side. Unahin muna dito natin sa top. So sa top, mayroon tayong power button dito. Reset, HDD, and power activity light. USB 2.0, audio in, tapos, eto pala in, tapos out. USB 2.0, dalawa, 3.2 Gen 1, isa, and the LED. Uh, meron siyang controller dito. Okay. So, sa top, pwede kang mag-mount, I think, up to 360, even 24, 280. Tanggalin na natin, eh, para ma-access yung sa glass. So, meron kayong apat na thumb screw dito. So, a bit concern lang dito. Yung quality lang nito is pag tinamaan, ingat lang kayo dito. Well, hindi nila nilagyan ng protection. Guys, yung temper glass, pagka na-hit to, yun po yung weakness, yung mga edges. Ingatan nyo po yan. Dahil pag yan, tinamaan, madaling mabasag. Okay. Yun lang yung concern ko. So, yung temper glass nila, wala po siyang tint. Uh, 4 mm thickness. So, for the bottom, check natin yung dust filtration. Magnetic ba? It's a magnetic. Yeah, it's color white din. So, intake, intake dito sa may side. Bottom, tapos 360 magkakabit kayo. Kaya nakot napansin nyo, marami kaming fan kanina. So, tatlo sa bottom, once a rear. Tatlo sa top, dalawa dito sa may side. So, total of 9 fans nga. Sa may side, I think pwede kayo magkabit dito ng 240mm, 280 sa top. Tama, top is 360 and 280. Bottom, 360. Pero intake yun na sa, ano, sa uh, fans. Oh, it's a micro ATX. Hindi siya sa ATX, guys. It's a micro ATX. Okay naman yung metal. Hindi siya yung flimsy, pero yan. Matiba yung metal, actually. So, pag ganito kasi, na-expect ko na na, ah, pag mura, uh, may tinitipid sila, nininipisan nila yung, yung metal. So, this is a manual. Then, accessories. Check natin yung manual kung so user friendly ba for beginners yes it's a user friendly okay po yung manual nila beginner friendly pala so this is the accessory you have a cable tie and uh, screws front panel connectors 
and uh, removable yes uh, but na screws to remove this SSD I think this is a two and a half inch pwede kayo mag-mount dito ng dalawa okay for the power supply dito nyo ikakabit and for the fans here cable management dito uh, pag di kayo maglalagay ng hard drive then you have check natin kung may cable tie points meron so one two anim ang nakikita ko dito meron din dito sa loob uh, for the cable management the color is white White na white ba? Get it. Oh, white. Matcha na color white. So, check the other panel guys. Dun sa side. Wala ho siyang dust filter. Ang meron lang is top tsaka sa bottom. Uh, both magnetic po yung dalawa. Kung gusto nyo lang yung look ng panoramic and dual chamber design. Uh, kung yun, especially pag budget kayo, uh, limited lang talaga yung pera nyo. Uh, you have the option. So, solid na solid yung... Uh, material na ginawa nila dito. Yun nga, a bit concern lang dun sa edges. Ingat lang kayo dito. Yun nga, yung metal, hindi siya yung madaling na UUP or ano, hindi nila ninipisan yung metal. Okay guys, check ko sa Lazada. Yung pricing is nasa 2,600 lang. Sorry ah, hindi pala siya 3,500. <laughs> Akala ko 3,500. I think nasa AIO cooling pala yun. Sa 3,000 I think. So this, ano lang, Karami ang mura nito. Sulit to ah. For the price of 2,500. Yun nga lang, micro ATX siya. Pangit lang dito is the... Yung tempered glass. Wala siya lang nilagay na protection. And dust filter sa side. Dapat nag-include lang sila sa may side. A room for cable management. Marami po. Wala nga lang siya included na, you know, mga velcro straps, mga ganyan. Wala pa. Uh, stay tuned for the PC build. Nagagawin ko budget siya. I think that is well, 40,000 ata. Uh, let me check na lang. Uh, dun sa kung i-complete ko. Nga pala, nagpadala diba sila ng 240. Yung sa top kasi, this is 360. Mas okay sana kung 360 na lang ilagay nyo. Pero kasi, sabi ko, ah, okay na ako sa 240 kasi nga parang budget na CPU lang ilalagay ko. Hindi naman kailangan ng 360 cooling na radiator. Sayang din na ba para makakatipid kayo. Pero, if you have the option or medyo mas gusto nyong pagandahin yung sa aesthetic department. Gusto nyong ipopulate na 360mm. Pwede pwede. Since uh, the top mount supported po siya ng 360 mount ng Predator. So yun yung maganda dito. Okay. Okay guys. So that's basically it uh, for the unboxing and a quick overview station for the PC build na gagawin ko dito. Yun na budget na dual chamber design na case. Available sa white and black. So there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Ako pala sa action. So like the video, subscribe. I'll see you on my next video. Uh, comment kayo kung ano yung mga gusto nyo pang itanong regarding this case. Pricing and availability, lagi ko na sa description and sa comment section area. Bye guys.